body in the trunk of a car following a chase. A Fresno man is in the Jefferson County Jail after he was stopped by DPS troopers after a chase in Beaumont. They say that they found the body of Brianna Johnson in the trunk of his car. Right now, HPD officers are outside a Houston home waiting to go inside to search for clues. Channel 2's Taisha Walker now with the details. Not to mention that she was a fellow YouTuber also, but ladies, girls, please be careful. These dudes out here are crazy. Like, what was he going with her body? Like, luckily, they actually caught him. That he was swerving and bringing attention to himself. But let's get back to the story. This morning, Houston police are waiting to get a search warrant to enter the magistrate home right behind me. We are told that evidence found inside of a car in Beaumont after a chase led them to this address. This morning, a man is in Jefferson County Jail after police found a Houston woman's body in his trunk following a chase in Beaumont. DPS troopers say Victor Campbell Jr. of Fresno was speeding down I-10 eastbound when they tried to pull him over. The 35-year-old man drove off and later crashed. Car. And today, police searched her home in an attempt to find out exactly what happened. Tonight, we are also seeing a picture of the woman, Brianna Johnson, for the very first time. The people who knew her providing us with that picture. According to investigators, she is 28 years old. Channel 2's Rochelle Turner joins us live with more on the investigation. Rochelle? Jonathan, as you mentioned, detectives spent the entire morning searching inside this home right here behind me. They found evidence from that car in Beaumont that led them to this residence and through a search warrant, they found a dead dog and they're also reviewing security footage to try and figure out what happened. Now, I do want to show you 28-year-old Brianna Tierra Johnson. Her body was found inside of a trunk following a car chase that ended in downtown town Beaumont early Saturday morning. Officials identified the driver as Victor Charles Campbell, a 35 year old man from Fresno. Detectives believe Johnson and Charles were dating, but it's unknown if they were in a relationship or just friends. Detectives are still trying to determine where the murder took place. We found items on scene that could link part the persons involved back to this address. Campbell was transported to the Jefferson County Jail. He faces charges for felony evading arrest, driving while intoxicated, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse. And right now, detectives are just still working on this investigation. They're asking anyone with information to give Crime Stoppers a call. Report